Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so sorry I'm running a little bit late today. I just was doing my last minute scramble trying to get ready for you. I've got such a mess on my desk, but I have three projects to share with you that I think you're really going to love tonight, and I'm so excited that you are here. It is Thursday, October 12th, 2023, and gosh, it's already been a busy October. Isn't that crazy? I just feel like I am just on overload. <laughs> Let me know what you are doing tonight. And I want to know tonight, tell me, what was the last time that you made a card with World Card Making Day last Saturday? Hopefully you got a chance to make a card then. But if not, tell me when. When was the last time that you made a card? And what kind of card did you make? Um, the last time I made a card was this morning. <laughs> this afternoon. Um, I was working on projects for my Garden Walk Sweet Escape event. I'm so excited about that. Yesterday, Shar and I worked on project kits and getting everything ready um, to share with you. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of some of those things um, that are, is coming in that kit if you signed up for that. Uh, but we're going to make some other cards first. We're going to a Christmas card we're going to do using the Joy to You. And then we're going to make a fall card using Pick of the Patch. And then we're going to make a Christmas card again using the, um, the Modern Garden Suite, the Garden Log. I'm just so in love with it. The paper is gorgeous. It's so amazing. Um, and I just can't get enough of it. I keep, I keep just coming back to it over and over again. Um, so happy that you guys are here again. I do apologize for, um, for running late and I feel like, you know, because I'm late, we need to just do like a little live, um, a little live draw. We, we haven't done that in a while. So, um, I, I'm going to do it right now, especially because all of you were waiting <laughs> so patiently, uh, for me to get started. And um, so we're, I'm going to I'm going to send out one of the cards that I make tonight. And um, and so let's see, we need to come up with like um, a number or something and have you guys guess. Oh, the number I just thought of is is um, it's not, you know, we're going to do that number anyway. OK, so last weekend on Saturday, I celebrated my wedding anniversary. And if you know, you have a heads up, but leave a comment and tell me how long where have I been married? How many years have I been married? Um, <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> Nancy Bodie. Um, I'm assuming Nancy B is Nancy Bodie. 23. You are right, Nancy. And Nadine got it right too. And Tony and Bonnie. Um, we got married in 2000. And so it has been um, 23 amazing years. Yes. So many of you guys are getting it right. Nancy was the first one. Um, but I think that's not fair because she knows better. So we are still going to send Nancy a card, but I think we should do, I think we should do another, another little card draw. Don't you think? Um, this time we are going to do, um, I'm going to put Nancy's name on the 23. <laughs> well, we're going to do another, um, a draw for a card, not a draw, but we're going to have you leave a comment and, um, this time I am going to do, um, oh, da, 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 da. I'm go oh yeah, I did say it on Sunday, didn't I? <laughs> um, I guess that's not, um, that's not so fair. Okay. This time is going to be something random. I'm writing it down right now. Um, and I want you to leave a comment with a color, a Stampin' Up! color. And the first person that I see to guess the color will get another card um, from me and I'll send that in the mail. So I've got my color here. I am, uh, so you can see I'm not writing it right now. It's already written. Um, and you guys see if you can come up with it. Kathy says balmy blue, that's not right. Janet says night of navy. Sue, daffodil delight. Nadine says wild wheat berry burst. Tony says petal pink. Mark says wild wheat. Calypso coral from Sandy berry burst. Nope, nope, nope. Boho blue from clay fan real red cajun craze oh my god they're coming so fast i haven't seen it yet i'm trying so hard to keep up with um all of your comments i haven't seen it you guys are kind of close um kind of close in in shade on some of your guesses 
um, but you haven't gotten the, the right color yet, um, I will give you a little hint, so we're not here all night. It is an in color. Um, nope, I'm not seeing it yet. Great guesses though, Deborah says wild wheat. Nope, it's not wild wheat. Um, lemon lolly crumb cake. Oh, I think Sue Kramer got it. Sue Kramer. <laughs> um, Sue, send me a message with your, um, send me a message with your, um, address. You were the first one I saw that said copper clay and, um, that is, that was the color. So congratulations. Oh, that's so fun. I haven't done that in a while where we gave something away. It's so hard sometimes on YouTube with giveaways, even on Facebook and all these like spammers come in and they try to just like mess up the fun. So, um, um, that was fun. I haven't done that in a little while, and I'm so glad um, you guys were willing to play along. Well, let's get started. We've got three cards to make, and one of them is going to use copper clay. Um, and so I'm I'm super excited about that card. I was trying to make something inspired by the towel that Alita gave me, um, and so I'll show you that again, um, and we'll see. But let's make a card first with the Joy to You um, stamp set. Honestly, this this card I pulled out of the box at the last minute to make a third card for you, but I just really love this layout, and I don't think we've made it before. I may have shown it before, but I haven't, we haven't made it. So um, this card is going to use some pretty simple pieces, and if you make a lot of Christmas cards, then this is a really great design for you because it has like a little bit of everything, um, but still simple enough to make a whole bunch. So leave a comment, let me know, how many Christmas cards do you make? I know some of you really make a lot of cards. We have this just discussion on Facebook um, earlier this week and I was asking um, have you already started your cards and how many do you make and <laughs> some of your comments just made me laugh no 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 haven't started yet I actually um I hope this doesn't disappoint you but I actually do photo cards for family and friends um with the kids and we send probably 120 cards and um, people always want to see pictures of the kids. And so I fell into the photo cards a long time ago when the kids were little and um, it just makes sense and it's an easy way to share pictures. One, one year I did make 250 cards and I sent them to family and friends and I sent them to customers and it was a lot. <laughs> it was so much. Um, but it's just so busy with the kids that um, photo cards are great. And then I make lots of Christmas cards cards and I send them out, especially in November, for thank you cards to everybody. Um, and for my team, I usually do something around the new year and it's not Christmas. It's just sort of like using some new sneak peek product. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, all right. So Janet says she makes about a hundred, but only meals 50. Um, so are you, do you, do you hand deliver the other ones, Janet, or are you just giving them and sharing them with others. Oh my gosh, 150, Diane, wow. Oh, 100 to nursing homes and shut-ins. I love that. What a great way to share your, your, um, your stamping and your, you know, your card making with others. Nan also sends 150. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Lynn says over 100. Um, Catherine says 20 for her and 20 for her cousin. Um, oh, Fonda, that's so awesome. 25 cards for your father-in-law to give out. I love that. Um, I, I think a lot of you do that, you, where you stamp for other people um, to send. Deb Jones says over 100 cards. Wow. You, <laughs> Linda says 72 and 7 are done. You better get you better be, get rolling on that. Tony says 125. Bonnie, 150. Wow. Oh, to your coworkers and 50 to family and friends. Okay. You guys are going to need this idea. It is so simple and easy. And that's my style. I just opened up this embossing folder. So I had to pull it out and look and see what it's called. It is called Christmas Tidings. And it's so much fun. I love that it just kind of has some different um, Christmas imagery and wording. I want to give you the item number really quick, but I'll also add it to the video description. It's 162115. And I, um, I have to tell you, this is a regular embossing folder, which we don't really see very often. Um, and let me give you an example. Um, one out. Okay, so here is here is a 3D embossing folder, and this one is the regular embossing folder. Can you see the difference? Just the thickness. Um, and so 3D embossing folders, you're going to use that with the gray specialty plate and the platform, but a regular embossing folder, you're going to use two clear plates 
and the platform. So it is a little bit of a different sandwich, and if you're used to the 3D embossing folders, then you might kind of not be ready to use um, to use this one because it is a little bit different. It always trips me up when I have to switch back and forth. So I embossed this piece with a little bit of Poppy Parade um, cardstock, and I think this is two and a half. Let's just double check really quick with our ruler. Um, two and a quarter, two and a quarter inch by five and a quarter. And I am using the thick basic white cardstock for um, a card base. And I always like, um, if you're going to use white, the thick basic white is the way to go uh, because it just has a little bit more weight and it just feels um, a little more substantial like a card. Sometimes the, the regular basic white is, well, it's really just meant for layering. And so regular basic white for a card base feels a little flimsy sometimes. So I'm using the thick white for the card base and the advantage to using the white for the card base is you don't need a layer of white on the inside for writing your message. I'm looking all around and I'm, oh my gosh, I'm looking all around for the thing that's right next to my hand. Oh geez. <laughs> It's going to be one of those nights. All right, so our embossing folder just adds some fun texture. I'm going to flip this over because this end hangs over just a little bit from the other end. And then I have a piece of designer paper. This is that fun Mary Bold and Bright designer paper. I really love this. I think it's like love it or hate it though because it is so bright and non-traditional in the colors. This is Lemon Lime Twist with the Poppy Parade. Um, and as you can see, the other side, we've got pinks and we've got yellow and we've got some bright blues and um, it's kind of a fun paper. This one is one and five eighths inch by five and a quarter. Okay, so those two layers Super simple, and then I'm using the countryside corner dies to stamp the sentiment, and I'm using the one here from the Joy to You. Um, so this is just a really simple stamp set. I love that it just has, have we made this card already? This is suddenly feeling very familiar. <laughs> I hope not. I don't think we have. Um, I apologize if it's a duplicate. Um, I know that I showed it because I did this for a card swap, but I didn't think that we did it on video. No, I know that we didn't because I didn't have the embossing folder until just now. <sighs> okay, deep breath. We're going to keep going. <laughs> Poppy Parade. Anyway, the joy to you. I love this, that it just has sort of like this um, transition from the skinny to the thicker, um, the thicker ones. I just think it's um, so fun. And if you wanted to, you could color um, the words different colors. I'm just doing a single color with the Poppy Parade, um, but you could really have some fun and do some different, different colors on there. Um, or if you wanted to, you could just do like um, part of the words. Um, there we go. Poppy Parade. I, I made an extra one. I always, <laughs> I always prepare an extra just in case. So I don't need that one. You don't need to. Um, and that's it. So we're going to add this with some Stampin' Dimensionals and then we're going to add some, um, I think it needs some embellishment. It needs a little something to jazz it up. And the fun um, iridescent discs that go with this suite are um, not available right now like with everything else. <laughs> um, but that's okay because we have tons and tons of fun things in our um, embellishment stash, as I'm sure you guys do at home. Um, and so we're just going to pull something else that's fun and blingy. Here's the ones that go with the, um, that go with the paper, but we're going to pick something else. Um, and I think on my original card, I just used, well, we could do something like these sequins. I think I just used some of the, um, just plain rhinestones. That is like such a go-to such a go-to right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some rhinestones. Um, I have such an assortment <laughs> of embellishments. Um, and I always just love to add a little bit of bling. Yes, our embellishment toolbox. <laughs> this paper. Oh, so many of you are liking this paper too. I love that. Susan says, a group of demonstrators um, will be making a thousand cards. Whoa! That's amazing. Oh my gosh. What an undertaking. Um, I think that's so awesome. Um, and they can send the cards home to brighten the days of um, 
friends and family back home. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. I think that a, a set of cards is such a great gift to give for the holidays, um, especially for people who maybe um, don't, can't do it themselves. Maybe they just um, don't have the supplies or maybe they just don't have the ability to work with their hands like that and make cards. So um, helping to spread sunshine by sharing cards for other people to send, I think it's just um, such an awesome such an awesome card. That's it, guys. Our card is done. <laughs> I know it was super simple, um, but this is such a Julie card. Literally just my style. A little embossing, a little designer paper, a little die cut, and some embellishment. Here is another version of the card using the Berry Christmas stamp set and designer paper. So I used a different embossing folder, exactly the same die cut. I just stamped in different colors and different images and added um, some gems on there too. I wanted to show you one more card that also uses the sentiment, may your Christmas be merry and bright from the same stamp set. This one is created by Jody Reiner. It was a swap that I received. Um, and she used the same embossing folder here. So this is in balmy blue and here she did it in basic white on the balmy blue cardstock. Um, so fun. I just love this stamp set for quick and easy cards. And I think it goes really nicely with the Mary Bold and Bright designer paper because it is such a bold, you know, bold greetings and bold, um, and, and bold colors. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Michelle. I think I am going to stick with just two. Um, on this card, I really had a hard time deciding like where the third one would go. And I like it with just two. And I know that is so controversial. I actually use two a lot. Mom's the one who's always yelling at me that I need to add a third. <laughs> I know exactly, Fonda. What would mom say? <laughs> she would make me add a third. And I, I say this all the time. When you make this card at home, which I hope you do, I hope you are inspired to create the cards that I share. I hope you add as many embellishments as you want. If you want to add two or three or five or seven, you can bling up your card. Um, I absolutely love it. But I think whoever gets this card is not going to look at it and say, it needs another rhinestone. I think they're just going to be like, oh, that's really cute. I hope so anyway. <laughs> All right. Card number one is done. And we are going to, um, I think we're going to do our fall card next. Um, so I'm going to move, I'm going to move this over here and I've got such a mess. I'm just trying to like navigate. Okay. So pick of the patch. I really wanted to do another, another card with pick of the patch. I feel like I've shared some cards recently. Let me just, I'll sh show them to you again really quick. We made this one in a recent video and, um, it is a little cut apart card. I called it a Frankenstein card when I made it because we cut the middle and then we turned it. Um, and I just love the way that turned out. And I feel like, um, as we're getting through October, it's already the middle of October. I feel like we're just like barreling into Christmas card season. And I just want to give this a little bit more love. Here's a card. This one from Don Olszewski using the pick a patch set. I just got this one in the mail from mom. It was a card that she shared in our pick in the patch video. Um, a little waterfall card. And if you haven't seen it, you should check out our video. Um, I just love that so much. And I'm actually going to use this tartan foil designer paper tonight. In that video, I made this little box, this little nested treat box using a different pattern of the tartan foil um, paper and um, Lost Lagoon, so Copper Clay, Lost Lagoon, and Pebbled Path. Um, and similar colors on this card from Jennifer Cotton, um, using the oxidized copper um, paper, which is back in stock, hooray, I love that paper, and the distressed tile embossing folder, so pretty. And then here's one more that I did um, using some of the um, Abundant Beauty decorative masks, which also, by the way, are back in stock. Um, if you are looking for those, they are available again, and um, using the Pick a Patch steam set and the um, the punch. Okay, so I was inspired by um, the color combination in this tea towel that um, Alita, Alita Williams sent me. And um, I just thought that it was so pretty. I love, love, love um, the colors here. And I tried to match them. They don't match exactly um, to Stampin' Up, but I did my best. And so what I came up with was Copper Clay 
Crushed Curry, Balmy Blue, and Night of Navy. Now, honestly, I feel like this is a little bit more like more mustard um, and maybe some Cajun craze with like, a, um, I guess that's copper. I don't know. Like almost maybe cherry cobbler. Anyway, these are the four colors I picked. <laughs> and um, I got my inspiration from the towel, which I just thought was so beautiful. Thank you again to Alita um, for sending that to me. Um, and so I also was inspired to try this card from Cecilia Cherry. She sent this in for the great big card swap. And if you missed that on Tuesday, you're gonna have to check out that. We had some really fun cards. Our theme this month is thank you. Um, and so she used the earth and texture suite to create this card and I thought this pop-up was so cool and so we are going to make our own version of this card and um, I wanted to make it so that it was more of a regular card size so this is a little bit bigger a little wider um, and so I am going to use a regular card base and we're going to try to do the same um, the same sort of effect. And I don't know what this is called, Cecilia, if you're watching, maybe you have a name um, for this card. But to me, it's kind of like, a, um, I don't know, like a center pop up. Um, I don't know. So the thing is, it's got like this little, uh, this little hole. And um, on either side of the hole is a spot to tuck the card. Um, and so we are going to do the same exact thing. We're just changing up the measurements. Oh, I forgot a belly band. We're going to have to get some card stuck out for that. Okay, so copper clay and our card base is five and a half by eight and a half, which is the regular like card base size here um, in North America. And I'm going to get my paper cutter out. I've got dimensionals everywhere. Don't you too. They just stick to everything. <laughs> okay, um, so... I've got my card and I have already scored at um, two and an eighth, four and a quarter, and six and three eighths. So I did that already with the scoring blade and now we're gonna do the cutting. Uh, just saw your question, um, Lisa. Yes, mom and I have done a video with the earthen texture suite. Um, I'll try to remember to add it to the video description, but there's also a whole Sunday stamping playlist um, that you can see all the Sunday stamping videos. And I want to say that it was um, oh, probably a solid two months ago that we did that one. Um, like over the summer. So go go back just a few episodes, but um, what did I do that month? It was a fun card. I did like a, um, gosh, what was it? Maybe it was just a gatefold card. Um, it might've been a little simple, but oh, that suite is just so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do some cutting now. And um, our center score line is just a normal one. It's four and a quarter. And actually I wanna do it on, I wanna do it on this side. Okay because this is the, I mean, it doesn't matter because our card is going to, yeah. Our card is gonna be a gatefold like this and then open it up and also kind of be like that and have that mountain. So this is where I want to do um, the cutting. So I'm going to line up the score line with the half inch mark. Nope, I'm sorry, one quarter inch mark um, on this side. So I'm looking, down here and it's right there. So I'm going to cut from one inch to four and a half. And if you're not familiar with a paper cutter, let me just show you really quick. On the side of the blade, there's a line and that is where the cutting is happening. So I'm lining that line up with the one inch and I'm gonna cut all the way down to four and a half inches. And so um, I'm just going to take that and cut down to four and a half. So that is one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom. And, um, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to move the, um, the score line to a quarter inch on the other side of the cutting track, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a half inch track in the middle. So I'm cutting from one down to four and a half again. And so the result is this, these two lines right there in the middle that are one inch from the bottom and one inch from the top. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut that out, but I'm going to leave about a half inch or so um, at the top and a half inch or so at the bottom. Okay. And this we can just get rid of. We don't need that. 
Okay, so that's how we have our little cutout piece. And then the, the card stock is going to fit in the center like that. And this is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. We're gonna stamp on it before we put it down. But I just wanna show you when the card is open, then it kind of has that pop up. And when the card is closed, it still will fold flat. Um, is this called a fling card? Oh, no, <laughs> you're talking about how I flung the paper. <laughs> I don't know why it would be called a fling card. Okay, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to see. Um, it's hard to see your um, your chats. Um, yes. Oh, Michelle, I'm so glad you've been working through all of those videos. We have yes, over a hundred and twenty Sunday stamping videos. We've been doing it for um, gosh, has it been two years? Or just a year no two years yeah 52 weeks in a year we haven't missed a sunday we've been doing it every single sunday since june 1st or the beginning of june um in 2021 so yes over two years gosh it's been so much fun um okay so we have our little piece here and if we look back at cecilia's card i think she just used um well she might have cut that but you could use if you wanted to um like a corner punch. I need to, this is still current, right? <laughs> um, let, me, let me just double check before I show you this punch. And if it is not current, I just won't use it. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. This is called the Very Best Trio Punch and it is on page 149 of the annual catalog. And so it kind of looks funny in the catalog because you don't really see what, you know, what it is, but this is what it looks like. And what you can do is you can put your corners in each of the three corners here. And so one is gonna give you a decorative finish like this, one is a slant, and then one is like a little ribbon hole. Um, and so let's go ahead and use that punch. And I'm going to use um, I'm going to use this decorative corner. And so I'm putting it in there. There are little guides there that line the cardstock so I can go right right inside. And I'm just gonna punch each of the four corners. I always forget about this punch. Um, I don't I don't know why. It's really cool though, and it just sort of elevates your card with a little a little something extra. So I'm glad I I hooked it out. I like that. Um, okay, so we are going to do some stamping now, and um, and then we'll have to come back and we'll have to add a um, a belly band to finish off the card. Um, okay, let's do our stamping, and then we'll put everything together. I had grid paper right here. Let's get that out. And um, we're using that pick a patch stamp set, and the colors again are copper clay, crushed curry. Balmy Blue and Night of Navy. And I know it seems weird to put those, those colors together, Balmy Blue. <laughs> um, but I think, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good thing. All right. So on the front, I have a shape that I, um, I die cut. And um, this is from a new set. Oh, what is it? I need to reach behind me. It is from the Nested Essential Dies 161597. Um, and it has this rounded rectangle. It has a banner shape. And then the other shape is kind of this like diamond with the squared off edges. So um, kind of fun. I love those dies. They're new in the um, new in the annual catalog and um, kind of my favorite. I haven't used them in a little while, but I was using them for a a lot in the in the summertime okay for the front i'm going to do thanks so much in navy and then on the inside um maybe i didn't get it out i want to do um your the pick of a patch i just love that greeting i think it's so fun so i'm gonna need a block for that and we're gonna do both of those in navy so let's start with the greetings I just re-inked my navy ink pad because it was looking kind of light. Um, and that's a good thing to get when you're getting ink pads. It's it's a good thing to get the re-inker at the same time so that you can freshen up your pad when it starts to get um, when it starts to get kind of dry. All right, next up we're going to do um, some crushed curry. And on the front piece, I'm gonna do this little gourd. 
And on the inside piece, I'm going to do um, <laughs> I was thinking I was going to have a bigger stack of pumpkins, but I don't think, I don't think that's going to work. Okay. I'm not going to do the big pumpkin. I'm going to just do the next pumpkin. Okay. So the next pumpkin is this one. I'm not using the punch today, uh, but this is one of the pumpkins that coordinates with the punch um, and can be punched out. All right, next up, I'm going to do um, the stem for the pumpkin. I'm going to do that in navy. And then I'm going to do a leaf. And this is the little half leaf. I'm going to do that in the balmy blue. I'm leaving some room over here so that you can have like a little space to write a message. Um, I want to bring some of the yellow in. So let's go ahead and open that crushed curry back up and add, add a little, um, <laughs> that's really haywire. That is a little, <laughs> That's a little more than I wanted that to be. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, we're going to... I don't like the way that turned out. We are going to punch again and <laughs> start all over. Um, this is why I, I make two, just in case I do something stupid. <laughs> I'm going to add something else um, with the yellow because I do think it needs some yellow, just not that. Just not that. So let's do the pumpkin. Now now we're doing speed stamping. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay. We're caught back up and turning back to the stamp set. There is a fun stamp that I haven't used yet with the leaves. How have I not used this one? I don't know. It's super cute though, isn't it? And so maybe we'll just add some leaves on either side. I think this is going to be fun. And if not, we're just going to have to go with it because I'm out of paper. <laughs> There, I love that. Just a little, little fall, little fall going on. Um, here's our inspiration. If you're just joining us and wondering why I'm using such weird colors, um, and I think it goes pretty well, doesn't it? I incorporated some of the balmy blue and some of the um, night of navy. This color actually matches a little better than I thought it was going to, and I did pull out like the pumpkin pie, but I just wasn't sure about that. Um, there, there actually is a shorter tendril, this one right here, which probably would have been a lot better, but I wasn't happy with the yellow tendril and the blue stem. I just thought it looked weird, but I like the leaves a lot better. I think that's a better composition there. Um, and yes, Kim, there is a small leaf. So the one I used is this one. And then there's also a big one. The bigger one coordinates with the punch. So you can punch out these two pumpkins, the stem, and the leaf. So if you're getting this stamp set, I highly recommend getting the bundle um, and having that punch. Even though I'm not using it right now, I still think it's a good thing to have um, and to add to your, your collection. All right, are we ready to put this card together? I'm already thinking about embellishments. <laughs> All right, I've cut four pieces of that tartan foil paper. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. The tar now the tartan foil paper is one of the five special release designer papers that they came out with on September 6th. They're calling it a special release designer paper. And there are, um, there are, um, they're in the online exclusive. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I saw Michelle's question about shouldn't the gourd have a stem? I don't know. Should it? 
I think having a stem there is going to be too much. I'm going to have it be without creative license, maybe. I don't know. Um, oh, now I feel like I have too much space here. We're going to add a blue tendril. What was I saying? Online exclusives. The tartan foil paper is um, an online exclusive, and it is um, available with a few other papers, like the, um, here's a floral one, Delightful Floral, something like that. Um, and did I use the lot? No, that was not. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Online exclusives, ball supplies last. Like I said, it comes in um, Lost Lagoon, Pebbled Path, and then the, um, the Copper Clay, which is what I'm using. So I've cut four pieces, and they are um, one and seven eighths inch across and five and a quarter down. And I'm going to do two on the inside and two on the front. Now, Cecilia, on her card, she originally had some other designer paper that went on the middle panels. But much of it is going to get covered up. Um, and so I decided just to leave, um, I decided just to leave that cardstock plain. Um, so if you want to, you can add some designer paper there. Um, and it is going to be, um, it is going to be the same size. Although you would probably want to put it on before you end up cutting. Okay, there's our inside. We have a little bit of space here to write a message. Um, and we're going to close that. This is a gatefold card. And then we're going to add the other designer paper to the front. And I'll have the measurements for um, all the projects that we're making tonight. I'll put them all in the video description. Um, when I have a chance to sit down tonight after the live stream, I will add the measurements and I will also add a list of the supplies that I use. So if you wanna get any of these, um, if you want to pick up any of these things, you can get them in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. We are going to get out a little bit of, um, Night of Navy to do a belly band. So let me grab that. And, oh, that's black. Um, I'm going to need a long one. Let's get a new paper. Okay, so we're going to cut that with a paper cutter. And then I also want to get out, um, what do I want to get out? Linen thread. That's what I was thinking. I think we need some linen thread on this. I love, love, love linen thread. And I'm thinking I want to add a little, I added just a few dots down there. I don't know. I just like that. And actually our pumpkin over here does have, I feel like some dots, not, not the dark colors, but okay. So for our belly band, we're going to go with an inch and a quarter and using the measurement over here, inch and a quarter. And I am kind of rubbing it in my fingers just to break apart the card stock fibers a little bit just to make it easier for me to fold it. So I am going to fold it. You can use your bone folder to get nice good creases. And I'm just gonna fold it around the card and eyeball it. So I probably could get away with a smaller piece. You don't need 11 inches. Um, and this is going to go in the center and so it's going to cover up our seam. So I'm going to just cut the over pieces. We don't, we want our seam to be right in the center and this is going to cover it up like that. Um, I'm debating with how, where to add where to add my twine. And I, I kind of just want to add it around the whole card. I think I'm going to do that. That's going to be cool. Okay. So first we're going to adhere the belly band with tear and tape to itself. And you want to wrap it tight around the card, but you don't want it to be too tight because you need that to be able to slide off. Okay. Oops. Okay. 
Then we're going to wrap the twine around a couple times and we're going to tie a bow. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk and tie at the same time. <laughs> really gonna concentrate there. Okay, we're gonna play with that bow and get it just right. I love that. And we can always slide the whole ribbon and we can have that be wherever we want it to be. So if we wanna have it on the right side or the left side, it's totally, totally up to you. I do want it to be on the side because then this is going to come on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to use the Stampin' Dimensionals. You gotta be careful because we only wanna put them on the, um, on the belly band. We don't wanna put them on here and then accidentally stick them to the card because that would be that would be really sad and then your belly band wouldn't you you wouldn't be able to open your card so I'm going to put them right on the belly band and then add the little the little strip right over the top they go right in the center oh my gosh I really love the way this turned out okay get off there <laughs> All right, here's our inspiration again. And thank you so much to Cecilia Cherry for her inspiration. And here's her card, little gatefold with a pop-up piece in the center. And mine also has a belly band, which slides off. And then we have our pop-up in the center. <gasps> Oh, what a great card. I hope that you think so too. And I hope that you um, will follow along because I think this card is really not that difficult um, once you break it down. So I hope that you'll give it a try at home. Um, kind of feeling like maybe we need some rustic dots. What do you think? Maybe just a couple, uh, a couple little bling to finish off our card. We've got some empty space here. I'm thinking that could use a little, a little something, something. And these I think are just the right size. So let's get these out. And I don't know, this is one I could, we could use, oops, we could do three. <laughs> and add the third one up here. Alternatively, I could put the two of them up here. And the one, oh, oh come on. <laughs> and the third one down there. What do you think? Do you like two on the bottom or two on the top? I know it's probably like not that much different either way, right? I feel like there's just a lot going on. I think I like it on the top. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm seeing your comments come through and you agree. Two on the top and one down there if you wanna have a third one. I love the way that turned out. Oh my gosh, this color combination is even better than I thought it would be. Alita, thank you again for this beautiful gift and for um, inspiring this beautiful card. Gosh, I love this pick of the patch, you guys. If you don't have it yet, um, it's not too late for your fall crafting. I really think you should go ahead and grab this one. Um, I think it's a classic, and because it has the punch in there, I think you're going to be able to use it um, year after year um, and really enjoy those images. So I showed you all the other samples earlier. If you're joining late, then you can catch those on the replay, but just some fun other samples to inspire you with pick of the patch. Um, and hopefully this one does as well. Are you guys ready for our last card? I do also have some other, um, some other things that came in the mail. Um, and so don't let me forget. Sometimes I, I forget to share, um, I forget to share the mail call. 
and then then it, we go a couple weeks but um i've got some things and i'm ready to share um some swap cards from my team some extra great big card swaps from the great big card swap on tuesday and also um something from stampin up <laughs> I got a little something in the mail. Um, what did I want to tell you? Oh, I wanted to talk about this amazing starter kit special. Stampin' Up! is offering um, a really special thing for new demonstrators who join my team and get a starter kit in October. Um, you can choose one of two options. You can choose to get 35% off the starter kit price of $99. So that means you're getting $125 for like $64, $68, something like that. Oh my gosh, it's such a great deal. Or you can choose to get 35% more product in your starter kit. I've got all of the information in the video description, so check it out. Um, but I'm mentioning it because the project that we're going to make next is a mystery stamping project that I did with my team last night. We have a mystery stamping um, stamp along Zoom um, stamp and share zoom every month. And gosh, it's just so much fun. I absolutely love connecting, um, with my team members all across the country, many of whom I've never met in person. Um, but it's just so much fun to stamp together and to make a card and to share and see what everyone's doing. I always feel so inspired. So this is the card that we did last night for our, our mystery stamping stamp and share zoom. And, um, if you have been thinking about becoming a demonstrator, we just have a really great team community and I would love for you um, to be a part of it. So check out the video description. Yes, Sharon, it was so much fun. Um, so I picked some different paper than what I used last night. So today I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make a new version and also share with you the version that I made last night. I'm using the Modern Garden Stamp Set and the Garden Walk Designer Paper. And gosh, this paper is so much fun. I have to grab a sample over here. Okay, I forgot to grab this. <laughs> Um, this is a six by six paper in the September through December mini catalog, and it has eight different patterns and you get six each of those um, eight sheets. And so um, 48 sheets total, and they're just so fun. I love these colors, petal pink, calypso coral, some pretty peacock, garden green, wild wheat, poppy parade. Um, and so you've got these busy but beautiful flower patterns. And then on the other side, we have some more, uh, I always call them B-side, more like solid kind of um, monochromatic sides that are perfect to pair with those busy patterns. And so that's exactly what I've done for today's card. I have chosen the Christmas paper and then also the B-side of um, this flower paper with the green stripes. Um, my card base is Pretty Peacock. Let me give you the measurements. I'll have them in the video description too. Pretty Peacock card base, five and a half by eight and a half. The designer paper is three and a half inch by four and a quarter. Um, and then I have the um, Poppy Parade card stock is, I better double check, <laughs> um, is two and a half inches by four, is it supposed to be four? Yes. <laughs> uh, four and a quarter, two and a half by four and a quarter. And then the designer paper is two inches by four inches. And we have a white cardstock. I did two just in case I messed up. That is two inches by three and a half inches. Um, so those are the pieces that we're going to use for this card. Um, Robin, I'm so excited that you are part of our group. I hope that you can join us next month for our Zoom. Um, and Janet, you too. Um, hopefully the puppy, <laughs> the puppy will give you a break next month so you can join us. Um, Isabel, I'm happy to send you a mini catalog if you reach out um, and send me a message, send me an email. Um, then I can get your address and, um, and send you a book. Um, so this catalog is good through the end of December. So we're just getting started. We're just in the first six weeks of the catalog. All right. I picked out the poinsettia images, the Christmas greeting, a leaf, and um, the little dots to go in the center of the poinsettias. Um, the colors we're using on our card I'm getting from the designer paper. 
Poppy Parade, Wild Wheat, Garden Green, and Pretty Peacock. And so our, you know what? I need a piece for the, the inside. I forgot that last night too. Let me grab a piece. This card base is um is a dark color and so I definitely while I've got my stamps out I definitely want to do a little stamping on the inside so I'm gonna do four by five and a quarter for the inside we're going to grab that grid paper back out to do our stamping on our white cardstock pieces and we're going to start with the sentiment so the sentiment on the front is going to be the Christmas one. It says, wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas. And um, there's not a sentiment for the inside. I mean, enjoy your special day could work. Best wishes could work. I've actually cut my best wishes apart from the other part for a fun-filled future together because that's just not a part that I would use a lot. And then the other one says, it's your birthday. Um, so I am not going to have an inside greeting, um, but we will stamp some flowers on the inside. So for the poinsettias, I've got two. One is large and one is small. I'm going to do them in the corner here. Oh, I love this color. Poppy parade. And then for the front here, I am going to do the large one and the small one kind of off center so i am stamping off the edges on both pieces and then we're going to add a little wild wheat for the center and i know that on the poppy parade it's going to be hard to see um it, it kind of overlaps a little bit but i think you still get the same effect that we have in the designer paper even though like the designer paper is more opaque with the wild wheat on the, um, you know, you can see the whole thing. Um, and here, obviously, it blends in because it's um, uh, water-based ink and not opaque like a craft ink. But I think you still get the same, the same effect. I'm going to add some leaves with the um, garden green. And I don't know if this is the right leaf for a poinsettia, but you know what? It... I think it works. We're going to add Let's See, I'm trying not to crowd the greeting too much. Oh. That didn't stamp all the way. Let's try again. Oh, I think that is lovely. Actually, I would stamp my sentiment over just a little bit. And you know what? Our stamps are dirty and I have an extra one. So let's just try again. <laughs> this is, mm, this is how I do. I just redo and redo and redo and stamp everything 800 times. I'm so anal about it sometimes. I drive myself crazy. Can you tell? <laughs> and... Uh, the small one. I just think the spacing is a little bit better. And you probably are like, it looks the same. But to me, I can tell. We're going to add some leaves. actually <laughs> didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped to with the leaves, but <laughs> I actually like the first one better. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. They're both great. Neither one was bad. I'm, I'm just being particular. All right. We're ready to put our card together. Aren't these colors just so beautiful together? Oh, it makes me happy. We're going to do some regular snail adhesive, seal adhesive. I said seal, I didn't say snail. <laughs> we'll start with our, our centerpiece. <laughs> Are you counting how many times I fling things? I'm just catching on now. Is this like a drinking game? How many times does Julie tear apart the card and how many times does she fling things across the room? <laughs> oh, that would make an interesting <laughs> an interesting um that would make an interesting video 
especially if I was the one drinking. <laughs> I'm centering our designer paper piece. And um, it looks like I have, oh, no, it's not, it's okay. I was thinking I had to trim some, but <laughs> I know I would totally be drunk. And then the tear parts would be really funny, I think. Um, we started with the large piece across the, um, in the middle, and then the poppy parade piece is going to come across the top. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm about an inch and a quarter or so from the top, maybe just an inch inch and an eighth or something. <laughs> uh, and then for the other designer paper, I'm going to cut a banner tip. So I'm going to cut approximately in the center, about a half an inch. I'm going to cut from each corner to the top of that fold to cut uh, an even banner. And you can leave it. If you don't want to have a banner, you can just leave it. Um, but I, I like having that little banner tip. So this is going to go right in the middle, right in the center. And then our, oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> and then this piece is going to go on with Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm sorry, sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> um, and it turns out even better. Even better than I thought that it would. Um, even spacing, there we go. Um, we definitely need some bling though. So I gotta get out some like gold pearls or something. I think that would be a good addition to our card. This is gonna go right in the center again. So center, center, center. Oh, am I changing your mind about this modern garden stamp set? I know so many of you are like, nah, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, another flower set, but gosh, I just really do love it. I, I like um, stamps that are a little bit bolder and, um, you know, I just don't love to color. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, okay, let's see if I can find our pearls right here. The blooming pearls. I think some gold would be a very elegant addition to our Christmas card. I thought I had one. Vanished. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where it went. It's stuck somewhere. And then another. See, I always feel so weird about this last one. Like, where does it go? Do we just keep all three up there? Yes, I think we do. <laughs> okay, so this is the Christmas version let me show you the version I made last night. Same stamp set, same designer paper pack, but I just chose different colors and different pattern. So this or that, <laughs> do you prefer the Christmas version or do you prefer the other version, the birthday card version? So on this one, I used a mossy meadow for the card base. Calypso Coral for the cardstock, and then a different, different patterns of the designer paper. The stamped images are done in Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, and Calypso Coral. Oh, I know, it's so tough. I'm seeing a lot of this. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why. I thought you guys would like the birthday one. Kim likes the birthday one. <laughs> um, I know they're both so nice, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you some more cards using the Modern Garden stamp set. And this stamp set comes bundled with um, a punch, which I didn't use tonight, but um, I really, really love it. You can get it bundled with the Modern Oval Punch, and, um, and it is just a great punch to have all around for everything. Um, so this bundle and the designer paper is what I am featuring in my Sweet Escape virtual event. You guys, I'm really excited about this. We um, are doing the same seven projects that we designed for Vacation Stamping School, our demonstrator training event that we held last month. And so now you have an opportunity to make these seven projects and I am getting the kits ready to send out and I have to show you 
before I show you what comes in that kit. Let me show you some other samples. <laughs> um, so here is another card that I made with the sweet. I used the oval punch here. We made this a couple weeks ago. It was our uh, one of the projects in the September bonus project kit, which I'm sending out this week. Um, and then these two projects are projects that are going to be included in the sweet escape event. So if you sign up for the event, then these are two of the projects that we're going to make. We have a window sheet card front. I love this. I love the colors so much. And then this one has a flap and I did this wrong. I'm, we're going to do it right though. Uh, and then a gatefold. So it's like an envelope flap card. And um, I'm really excited about both of these. So these are just two of the seven projects that we'll be making as part of the Sweet Escape event. Okay, let me show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move these things aside for just a second. Um, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Char and I put together the project kits. So these are going in the mail tomorrow if you've already signed up. Look at this fun folder. I'm really excited about this. I just got these in. Then I plan to use them for other class kit, class events. Um, this is, it's... Um, like an eight and a half by 11 folder. It has a Velcro um, closure and it says make time to be creative. So your card packets are going to come in this envelope. So everyone will get one of these. And so there's seven pre-cut projects. So all of them, um, you can see there's like a 3D project. Uh, and do you see what's in here? Um, a back pocket card layout just for this event. So seven projects that are pre-cut. And then in addition to the project folder, you're also going to get a little swag bag. And the swag bag includes the stuff that you will need to make the seven projects. You're going to get the Garden Walk Designer Paper, a full package. You're going to get the Blooming Pearls, a full package. You're going to get that Calypso Coral Braided Trim, a full roll, and a full package of the classic gift card envelopes. And we're going to make a really fun um, pocket book for um, a, like a pocket album um, that you can put a gift card in that Meg Lovin designed. And oh my gosh, you guys are going to love it. And look at this, another fun little bag. I had printed up um, and it says I just want to stay home I just want to stay home and craft because I mean right <laughs> who doesn't want to just stay home and craft so I've got all the information already in the video description if you are interested in joining us for this virtual event it will be held in a Facebook group if you're not a Facebook user you can still access the videos afterwards I'll have a link to them it will include the Facebook group with live video demonstrations of all seven projects and then also a PDF with tutorials with the pictures, instructions, measurements, and everything. If you um, do not want the whole swag, if you don't want the whole thing, there is a virtual only option, which is just the videos and the PDF and the Facebook group. Um, it's going to be on Saturday, October 21st in a couple weeks. If you can't watch live, like I said, you'll still be able to access all the content afterwards. Um, my plan is to do three different different Facebook lives during the day to do a couple projects at a time and then give you some time to finish and um, and then we'll come back and do some more. I'll also have lots of extra inspiration to inspire you using the Garden Walk Suite and the Modern Garden Stamp Set to give you tons of ideas that you can use at home to continue stamping and use the rest of your swag. So if you're interested, um, it's not too late. The first round of bags are going out tomorrow, um, but if you sign up if you sign up tonight, um, your package is not going to go out in the mail tomorrow because I got to order the stuff. So you'll you'll have to wait a couple days. It'll go out um, early, mid next week. But it's not too late if you want to get in on it. And um, you also have the option to add on the Modern Garden Bundle with a $10 discount. So if you want to add that to your um, event package, you can do that. So oh, I'm just so excited about this event, the Modern Garden Sweet Escape event. Um, oh no, Brian <laughs> or Twyla, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing Twyla. Um, I know it's so sad. I cannot send the event package stuff. I can't send that to Canada, but you can participate in the virtual event. Um, and so that that is an option if you want to participate, even though I won't be able to send you like all the product. Um, okay, 
So that is the Garden Walk Sweet Escape event. I'm super excited about that. Um, and we made our three projects, but before I let you go, I have that mail call to share with you um, some extra cards I got in the mail. And do you wanna see what's in this box from Stampin' Up? <laughs> Um, I, I kind of forgot about it and it was sort of a surprise when it came in the mail. If you are a demonstrator, you might recognize that these cute little boxes um, include a little pin. And this pin is to celebrate my personal sales milestone of 1.1 million dollars. <laughs> Last November, I surpassed my 1 million um, sales milestone, which was so exciting. And I got to go to the home office in March. And this fall, I have surpassed 1.1 million dollars. I can hardly believe it. So thank you to everyone um, who shops with me, all my customers for making that happen. I know, gosh, it's just so exciting. Um, last year we did a, a 1 million um, little party. And so I feel like this sweet escape event is sort of like a part two. Um, I'm just excited about the event and I think it's going to be super fun. So, um, all right, that came from Stampin' Up! But I also got some fun mail. Um, I'm going to start with the team member cards. That is these. Um, so my team, we have so much fun. As I said, one of the things that we're doing right now, we do this every couple months, is a one for one swap. It's kind of like the great big card swap, except instead of sending cards to me, everyone just sends cards to each other. And so they have an option to send between one and five cards. And I mix up the list and I give everybody the addresses. And so then they just send the cards directly to everybody. So we're in the middle of our mini catalog uh, one for one card swap right now. So I haven't gotten all of the cards yet, um, but the rest are on the way. So I'll have more to share next week. Uh, but these are the ones that I've received so far from my team members. This first one is from Erin Scott, and she used the Autumn Leaves Bundle as well as the um, All About Autumn Designer Paper the Distress Tile um, embossing folder. And I know you guys are looking at this card and you're mad that we don't have that all about autumn paper. And I know it is coming back in stock. It's supposed to be back October 23rd, which is a Monday. And so my advice to you is just to set an alarm and look every 30 minutes and see if it's back yet. Um, and here's my other little bit of advice and you might just groan, but I'm telling you, one of the things I love about being a demonstrator is getting a chance to order things early. And so if if you're a demonstrator and you can participate in the pre-order, you can get all the things while there are limits. And, um, and so there, you, you don't have to worry about things selling out. You can get what you want in the pre-order. So I'm just saying if, <laughs> if you want first access, if you want first dibs, you should think about joining as a demonstrator this month. Love this card from Erin, just so beautiful. Here is one from um, Margo Richardson. I love, she used the Marius Trees for this one and the Winter Meadow Designer Paper, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just got this bundle and so I'm really excited that I can case this card because I think it's just beautiful. The colors here are Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon and I am absolutely loving that combination. Here, oh, we got two cards with the Modern Garden Garden Walk. This one's from Lori Christ Query, and she did a little Dutch door card with an opening at the top and an opening on the sides, a little gate fold and a top fold. I love that. And then this one is from Melody Lampert using the, um, I, I think of it as fall paper, even though it's not the wild, wild wheat um, designer paper. I think it's just so gorgeous. Enjoy your special day. Um, some more Christmas cards. This one is from Carmen Melendez and she did use the poinsettias from the Modern Garden stamp set and then also some of the um, the bright Christmas paper with the foil um, and there's three different patterns. It's the music notes on cherry cobbler, the holly and berries on white and then the plaid on the shaded spruce. Oh such a great card. There's that modern oval punch. I just love that one. Love, love, love it. And the last card is from my mom, Susan LaCroix. She used the Winter Meadow Designer Paper and some of the snowflake adhesive backed and gems and the faceted gems on top of it. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? This designer paper reminds me of my grandmother who used to feed the deer outside their home in northern Michigan. 
and she would paint these beautiful paintings of the deer kind of looking in, and I just thought that was so beautiful. Um, and it just makes me think of her. Um, let's see, um, are the cards made from kits or just highlighting the stamps? I'm not sure where you're at in the video, Black Girl Happy Planner. The cards I'm showing right now are swap cards, but you might be earlier in the video. Um, and some of the cards, well, the cards I showed tonight are just cards that I showed tonight. They're not part of a kit, but I did share a couple cards that are coming up in that Sweet Escape event. Okay, so those were team swap cards. And the next cards, um, well, I think, okay, this one is from Sharon Groves. I love this gorgeous background that she stamped. A uh, little thank you card. Uh, no, yeah, a thank you card. It had some money in it for um, her great big card swap, which is like, I need to address that next time we have a card swap postage issues <laughs> because I got, I've gotten a couple um, envelopes that have come postage due and um, gosh, postage is just so tricky. So we'll address that in another uh, another video. Sharon, yours wasn't a problem. Um, I'm just saying it reminded me that uh, postage can be a little tricky. Anyway, gorgeous card. I love the sunflowers and the layered leaves and flowers and all the colors. I think it's just beautiful. These other cards were extras that I got during the great big card swap. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who sent extras. Never, uh, it's never expected, but always appreciated. I just love it so much when you guys um, send an extra for me, and it just, I feel so tickled that I get to keep it. So this one comes from Tony Shaw, who sent uh, a slightly different version for the Great Big Card Swap, and I love her sort of back-to-school theme. I thought she did such a nice job on those cards. This one is from Linda Vanderspool, so gorgeous, with the bumblebee and cinnamon cider, um, and that heart and home designer paper with the panels. Really beautiful. Thank you so much, Linda. Um, this card is from Tina Lynch, and she has used the Modern Garden or Garden Walk designer paper with some of the flower shop dyes. I'm thinking, I don't know if she put a note in there. Did I miss it? Right here. Yes, paper florist, not flower shop, paper florist dies. And the inside sentiment is from the Autumn Leaves stamp set. I love that with a grateful heart. Such a gorgeous card. And the hybrid doily, I'm really excited about that. Oh, I forgot to order that during free shipping. I meant to, I meant to do that. Isn't this gorgeous though? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Tina, for your amazing, beautiful card and for sending an extra for me. I'm so tickled. Our last double card is from Joe Williams. Joe, thank you so much for this little tuck back card using the um, peach designer paper and the meadow dyes. So fun. I love these colors. Calypso Coral, one of my favorite colors um, in the catalog. Always has been. Thank you to everyone who sent those extra cards to the Great Big Card Swap. And thank you again to everyone who participated in the Great Big Card Swap. Tonight we made three cards. If you're just joining, I hope that you'll go back and watch the replay because we just had so much fun. The first one was a clean and simple um, using the Joy of You um, stamp set, new embossing folder and designer paper. And then we made this fun card with the um, Pick of the Patch stamp set. Kind of had a fun little pop-up on the inside. I love the way that turned out. And then we finished up making a Christmas card with the Modern Garden um, stamp set and Garden Walk Suite. Oh my gosh. Let me know which of these cards you are inspired to try at home. Thank you so much for tuning in for tonight's video. If you enjoyed all of the project ideas that I shared, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future card making videos like Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie coming up at noon on Sunday. And then Thursday Night Stamp Therapy every Thursday night at 7.15 p.m ish central time <laughs> and every second and fourth tuesday we have our great big card swap video showcase and then some special videos mixed in there as well um, I so appreciate you guys sharing this time with me. It's so special and I enjoy your comments and your encouraging words. Thank you for being here and being part of my stamping community. Have a great night and I will see you next time. Bye.